Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we have one here from uh, Dragon Wings in 172nd scale diecast. It is a bit of a special one. This one comes with this awesome looking diorama. It does look awesome in the pictures. I can't wait to get this out of the bloody box, I'll tell you that much. So we have a uh, Y3 here from Jagad Geshwada 7 Nowotny. Now Y3 was flown by Hans Guido Mutki in 1945. Now most of you would know that JG7 was the first operational jet unit in the world. After a mission, uh, Hans would land his Messerschmitt 262 on the 25th of April in uh, Switzerland. He claimed that he got lost and uh, ended up in Switzerland. That was pretty handy that because that was uh, towards the end of the war. So the aircraft would then be interned by the Swiss authorities and it was kept in storage until 1957 when it was returned back to Germany. And I think you can actually see this aircraft in a museum in Germany, which is pretty cool if you live in Germany. Hans is also said to have actually broken the sound barrier. Well, he said he had broken the sound barrier um, in the Messerschmitt 262 during a steep 90 degree dive. Um, his airspeed indicator needled out at 1100 kilometers per hour as he temporarily lost control, although he never claimed to ever be the first person to do it. So he was taking nothing away from Chuck Yeager, but he was just saying that uh, he, he had done it in the Mission Smith 262 and other pilots had done it as well. So the Mission Smith 262 was capable of that feat. But of course, it was never uh, recorded officially. After the war, Hans uh, moved to Argentina, like a lot of German ex-military people did where he would be a commercial pilot for several airlines. Uh, he would die in 2004 during a heart operation, aged 83. Now, what we'll do is, I guess we'll stop talking. Um, I want to really open this box up and check this out, and I bet that's the only reason you guys are watching this video, not to hear me blubber on. All right, let's open up this box and check out this awesome model. All right, with Hans's Amrisha Schmidt 262 out of the box, it does come with the usual stand, a little uh, set of instructions. Jeez, if these fingers can work. And that is the little instructions that you do get with it. So if you don't have any, uh, whack it on pause. And we'll move that out of the way. So this is this uh, mission. It does, that's where the uh, diorama base will be in, in a foam packet. That is still sealed unopened, which is going to be fantastic. Because it should be in good nick. I think this whole uh, whole setup, I bought this second hand. I think this whole thing is brand new though. Never, never been opened, which is really cool. Move that box out of the way. We'll move this out of the way. We'll, we'll focus on the Mission Schmidt uh, 262 first. We'll get this open. Move that out of the way. And there is that awesome looking bird sitting in there. Boy. So you've got the usual uh, landing gear options, a canopy option as well. That is pretty awesome. That is one, one piece too. That looks pretty cool. And that Mr. Schmidt. Let's get that out. This does look brand spanking new. Oh, it is stuck in there though. We've got to get a little bit of poppage. We'll move this shit out of the way. <laughs> Where can I grab it? Ah, I really don't want to grab it on the tail, but I don't have much of an option. All right. Nice. It has a fair bit of heft. Boy, that is very strange for an aircraft of this size. It does weigh a fair bit. Well, get rid of that. But this does look pretty cool. Wow. That looks awesome. So from the looks of it, we should be able to take that off. My God, check out that detail. It's got these seat belts and everything in there. Bloody hell, that's insane. <laughs> we'll put the canopy back on. This is marvellous. Wow. I thought I actually thought something was on there. Well, I'm blown away by the um, quality of this. This does look very nice. And, of course, the only thing, uh, you don't have that schwa sticker on the tail. Um... The Dragon models, that is the only thing with them. You don't get that um, historical uh, part on that aircraft. But the uh, paint, the mottling, um, the application of the paint is fantastic. The details, the panel lines, wow. This is pretty awesome. It's got some nose details there with the cannons. We'll turn it over and have a little look underneath. Excellent. Now this is set up for in-flight. This is brand spanking new, going by the uh, stickers still in there. So this was a little bit of a score. <laughs> wow, this does look fantastic. So pretty much all we got to do is uh, take those stickers off and uh, whack it on the stand. All right, we'll go off and do that right now. All right, we are back. Uh, the only thing you do when, when, when you take that tape off, these are quite loose, so I had to put a little bit of blue tape in it, because every time I did that, it dropped out. And of course, you just get your stand that you get provided, whack it in the stand hole, 
and that is your swallow on the stand and that looks pretty damn awesome so that's you in flight guys done so what we'll do is we'll chuck some landing gear on this so we can quickly uh get that out of the way so we can check out the diorama base i'm really excited to check that out all right here we have white three uh, set up for a gear down oh, very straightforward you just put uh, that piece in there and then you put your main wheels on either side check out the tread on those tires far out that is really great detail even the struts are a different color as well and it's got some nice wheel well details and then you put your nose wheel in there as well and a little gear bay door right there and that is your nose wheel set up for, for uh, gear down as well and that looks fantastic this uh this absolutely looks great i really dig this one for sure and check out that detail inside there how insane is that that looks absolutely crazy and this is how your awesome mr schmidt 262 will look uh gear down and it looks absolutely fantastic it sits on the landing gear beautifully, but we're not going to be happy looking at this Mr. Schmidt 262 sitting on this boring ass table like we usually do. We want to uh, see it on that base. So what we'll do is we'll quickly get that base and check out that base. So we'll move uh, that out of the way and we'll get to this base. All right, now this is uh, still sealed, so we better uh, cut that off. Let us try and do this quickly with old Blady getting some action. All right, we'll put Blady away. We'll get this lid off. And what do we see? Ah, uh, we see nothing. <laughs> All right, we've, uh, well, we've obviously got it upside down. Uh, boy, oh, this, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, it's some uh, drums, which is pretty cool. And a toolbox or something. Well, let's get to this base. Come on. Hurry up, Chris. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, man, that is cool. All right, we'll move uh, this garbage out of the way. Come on, quick, 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 quick. People don't have a long attention span. They don't want to see me dicking around. <laughs> wow, this looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, look at all this polystyrene on it, though. We'll have to use some uh, magic of television to uh, get rid of that stuff. All right, so that's better. It does come with that fuel drum and some little uh, crates or some boards, some extra boards to chuck on here as well. We'll put that, uh, we'll sit that there like that. And this is that diorama. We'll pick it up and have a close look at that check out the detail how cool is this that is freaking insane isn't it absolutely nuts i reckon that is great now th this is all stuck on there and painted and sort of highlighted that is really well done that is awesome yep definitely stoked about this shit <laughs> we'll put it back on the deck and of course it's not complete without that Mr. Schmidt, is it? So uh, this is how your awesome Mr. Schmidt 262 will sit in there. Far out. That is mint. Yep, definitely love it. Oh, I love doing these videos. <laughs> I certainly hope you guys enjoy watching them because I, I enjoy opening these up and checking these out. I have so much fun doing this shit. So I'm really hoping you guys are having as much fun as me. Or maybe not as much because I get to hold these in my hands and touch them for real. You only get to watch them in the videos. Well, that's if you watch the whole video, of course. But, boy, this is absolutely fantastic. Let's lift this whole thing up. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, the Mr. Schmidt is a little bit tail heavy, so I better be a bit forward. <laughs> but that is how it's going to look. Bloody hell. That is awesome. Yep. No, definitely, definitely really happy. This is oh, amazing. <laughs> I am stoked. Hopefully, uh, if you enjoy what you're seeing here, uh, you can get your hands on one of these as well because it is definitely worth getting. These are definitely worth the price of admission. <laughs> it is absolutely freaking awesome. Boy. So once again, 170 second scale by Dragon. This is the Mr. Smith 262A1 uh, White 3 and uh, with the um, bonus diorama. And it's freaking brilliant. And of course, these are only my opinions. Uh, you might just think this is a big chunk of crap um i don't i think this is great i'm really happy so i'm gonna i'm gonna do what i usually do and crack a beer and sit down and and stare at this one and take some photos of it <laughs> and of course if you're interested in checking this out without my fingers all over it um check out those photos at the end of the video of course and um, when i have it on the turntable and everything and of course if you enjoy this as much as me probably you don't but if you do at least slightly give us some of those somewhere down there of course and always feel free to comment uh, below if you like it or dislike it.
And as always, if you're watching this and haven't subscribed, always feel free to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the videos that I do. All right, guys, I have uh, crapped on enough. I will shut the hell up and uh, say thank you very much for watching and you all have an awesome rest of your day. All right, everyone. Cheers.